Hello guys, thanks for watching. I should say guys and gals. Today we're looking at the Matrix M4 stubby version. So this thing has about a, oh, six, seven inch barrel and it has a non-adjustable rear stock. Um, it's made fully of polymer, nylon reinforced, I, I do believe. Uh, it has adjustable hop-up, rotary chamber. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't really like to stick very easily when it comes to keeping it in place. But you can see I'm finagling with it pretty aggressively. It's got a little, the, the slide release that's supposed to be holding it in place, but really functionally, it doesn't actually do it. Anyway, rotary adjustment right here. Um, shooting this thing, I found that point threes functionally are gonna be about the top you can do. You can shoot point fours and it can actually hop them, but it's gonna be shooting them very, very slow because the FPS on this particular one is right on three and 350 FPS on the button. Point fours, unadjusted hop up. One of the things I found is that the hop up is actually goes the opposite direction you would assume. So going, I believe it's going counterclockwise actually adjusts the hop up so you get more hop up. Counterclockwise, or uh, I'm sorry. So clockwise, less hop up. Counterclockwise, more hop up. Uh, but anyway, despite being polymer, full polymer body with a metal magazine. Um, it is really, really solid feeling. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of wiggle. When I shake this thing around, the only thing you're gonna hear is a little bit of the magazine, which is normal, and then this floppy little um, sling mount right here. Which, speaking of sling mounts, you have two. One here, one here, and you're really not gonna be able to do a single point sling. That's just not gonna be viable with this thing. Something to keep in mind. Um, it does have front uh, adjustable so sight, which is, I haven't really seen this on many of them. Just like an M4, uh, you have to push the button down. You have to use something to push that little button in the front down, and then you can spin it either down, which it looks like it's all the way down right now, or up. And then with the rear sight, press the button, pops up and it's adjusted uh, for windage and it looks like, well obviously your elevation is going to be on this one. So elevation, windage, and you have the little little dot. Put those together. Now you've got a uh, narrow profile in the back. You pop the front one down and you've got a bigger hole you're looking through. So let me put that up. And that's pretty standard M4 furniture on that. It's got a high capacity magazine. Haven't actually tried filling it to find out how many BBs would fit in this thing, but minimum is gonna be about 250, might go up to 350, depending. Uh, normal, wind it on the bottom. Now, some notable features about this thing is it actually does have a MOSFET, which is pretty darn cool. So it's pretty snappy, and it is very consistent on the FPS. Other than that, uh, I, if you're going to do some sort of sight on this thing, bear in mind it is, this is like a kid gun. It's so, so incredibly small because of the non-adjustable rear stock. You really, you're kind of up on the, the sights. So you could put a red dot kind of a, a ris, um, with a rise in the very front and that would feel pretty comfortable if we were to drop this down. I'd say you could do that. Otherwise, you're kind of going to be riding that that rear sight pretty pretty hardcore. But overall, I have to say I am really impressed by the quality of this. It it honestly it feels like it's metal, even though you know, texture wise you can definitely tell it's polymer. It does have the really solid feel of a of a metal M4. So. I don't know what else to say about this thing. Let's see. Oh, actually. So the charging handle is really, really cool. Let's take a look at this thing. It has a very pronounced uh, notch or um, lever on the left-hand side to pull it back, which honestly, I wish my uh, Springfield Armory Saint had something like that. That is just really comfortable to pull that back. 
It would be nice if it was on the other side, ambidextrous. Has a fake, um, where is it, not charging handle. Oh, what is it called? Forward assist, that's right, forward assist. And this obviously closes, that's pretty cool. The magazine actually fits in here pretty tight. It's about the tightest I've ever had on an M4. The rail is 100% solid. It's got the standard flash hider, you know, paint that or whatever you want to. I it might be glued on there. I've honestly not tried taking it off, but you can definitely take this uh, front side off if you want to. It's just two pins right there and there. And then, uh, finally, let's get a battery in here and see what it sounds like. What you're gonna do is, I, it's pretty convenient. Instead of having to pull different pieces off, just a little push button, drop it back. And because it's a fixed stock, it actually has a ton of room for a battery. Now it's dark in there, so you're not gonna be able to see, but. Let's drop this thing in there. There is so much room. I could, I could basically sit, fit two batteries in there. So you can fit something really, really big in there. And let's see, oh yeah. Small Tamiya, obviously. Let's get this thing out. Boy, it's kind of hard to get that little guy out. Uh, there we go. It's got plenty of wire room. Wrapped nicely with rubber. Very, very good response rate. Let's see what it does on auto. I should shoot this thing outside. It's going to make me deaf shooting it inside. And one final thing to mention on the quality of this thing. I really like it when my safety notches let me know with a, both a tactile and audible click that I am in a new position. And this one, there's no mush. There's a clear click, audible click, and you can definitely feel it set into place. So that is very nice. Good response, good uh, RPS. I, I don't know what the number is. I'm sure you can look it up, but it's it's quite, quite good. And of course, I, I believe you can actually take this stock off and put an, another different one on there. So it is modifiable and very good little CQB gun or gun to give to maybe a smaller player, uh, a child, you know, somebody, somebody that can't deal with something that's very heavy and doesn't need the extra stock length. So great, great little gun. Now let's take it out to the range and see what it can do. Thank <laughs> you. 